this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a smoke perp type beat. I'll be going over the song um, Ski Mask by Smoke Perp. So that's what I'll be leaning towards. This one's really simple. As you can see, there's not a lot of sounds. Um, these are from the Flex Guy kit, obviously, you can see. And this is from the Tentacion kit, the snare. So if you want to know where to get those, these sounds, that's where to get them. Um, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to take a piano and reverse it. Or if you want, there's plugins with any plugin should have like a reverse type of sound, like a sweep or something. So you can, if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to just do the longer way just to show you how to do it. So first I'm going to get the sound. I'm going to get the piano here. I'm going to probably play along the half notes to make a dark sound, but I'm going to play chords. So I guess we could just come up here and just click on something minor. Just try to look for the... Also, I'll put a lot of reverb on the piano just so when you reverse it, it'll have a, like a tail. It'll have some type of sound to it. It just won't be like blank and then the piano will come in. So let me just figure out something real quick. I'll probably just put along the half notes to make a dark sound. And obviously 140 BPM up here, you can look, see. Let me move this away. All right, that'll do for now. Hopefully it's dark enough when I reverse it, but we'll just see. So what I'm gonna do is put this on a mixer. Let's see. One right here, I'm just leaving how it is. I'm gonna click this button right here. Um, And then go, make sure this is on the playlist first. Then after that, I'll come up here to this mixer options button this recording render to wave and then it just start it and it should pop up right here and hopefully i think i i think i messed that one up so i'm gonna do it again real quick because i only i put it half i thought i was only using one bar but i'm gonna do that again okay so all i'm gonna do is just click reverse like that we we'll just see how it sounds. We might be able to just delete this. If it doesn't sound good, we can create a new one. All right, so. All right, so that doesn't sound bad. So we can put it back on one. I'm gonna rename it, delete that one. I'm just rename it piano. We could delete this again. That's just showing you what to use a sweep or reverse. That's why I put it there for a reminder. All right, so we could delete the VST, delete that, put it load out or whatever. Okay. All right, so from here, the hi hats will actually. I'm gonna just mix this real quick. Just take some bass out. We don't need an EQ really, just 
Well, I guess I can just show you so you can see what I'm doing for people who don't really know too much. I right, just take some bass out of the the sample now so that you know um when we put the bass in it can flourish throughout the song or whatever you want to call it and i have two bases just in case one doesn't sound right because i don't want to take time looking for bases and stuff it's not you know, a waste of time so we can just put all this down really but i don't think we'll need any more sounds Make this larger so see what I'm doing. All right, so the hi hats, you just do fill each, you know, fill, what is it? Fill each two steps, right click, go to fill each two steps, and it'll just put in all the patterns for you. But we're going to come back to this later because we want to play it off of the snare. And from here, it's pretty like, it's pretty much a normal trap beat. Um, you know, you have your snares like that. You know, it's pretty normal. I think I actually have too much. I don't really need all this. But we can put some extra stuff in there. Turn the velocity up. And yeah, we just turn everything up and we can just EQ it later. And it's pretty spaced out. So keep that in mind. It's very spaced out. So, oh. and I'm going to put some bass in this, not bass, but mid range. All right, so I'm going to layer it with something in these free kits because I want it to sound a little bit more like the snare in the song. So I'm going to just layer the snare with something that's darker. Okay, that's pretty good. So from here, you can just do what you want. Just have some um, sliding 808s towards the end of the bar. I'm going to hide this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Turn the 808 down. You want the kick. I always have my kicks higher than 808 so it, you know, pops out. So I'm going to right click. Click on the, the kick. And then I'm going to right click on both of these. Well, you know, one at a time, but right click and go to side change the track. Same thing with here. I just do it something like that, like just some around that range. All right. So let me go in and just figure out kind of where I want to put it. And I forgot about the kick. That's loop points. All right. All right, we'll just do something like that. You know, I'm not trying to do anything fancy, just trying to get a point across for the tutorial. So we could try this 808. And we're just gonna put some, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the bass note for it is, you know, the, the main note that we're gonna use. Make sure that sounds good with the track. And then put some, you know, slides. I think I'm gonna go with the spins for now at least. So
And from here, I'm just going to make adjustments. You know, that's what making the beat is. You, know, you make adjustments it's like drawing. You draw some, you raise some, and then you add some. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, I'm not really sure, you know, of where I'm really going, but I'm just trying to get a point across, you know, there's like quick slides here and there. I might take this one out. I'm not feeling that one too much, but for this one, actually, I'm going to make this a little quicker. And we're going to have some rolls at the end right here. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so just got to listen for where we want to put it. So you, you can press control U to like um, chop it uh, to the quantized, you know, mark that you have. So I have one six beat. So if, so if I press control U, it'll quantize it to one six. So you'll see. Hold up. First it has to. Be. Well, I had it in a like um, one fourth type of style, so I have to map it. See, it's not working right. But now you can see it'll do it. I don't even know why. So in the song, it kind of like, tss, tss, like something like that. So I'm gonna try to mimic that. Probably got to move it back. I don't know. Move it up. I might 
might actually make it even smaller. Just see. And really, we can just copy that. You know, the beat isn't too crazy. So, like, you can pretty much just copy it. Probably just change this down. I don't know. So, let me see what that sounds like with this. So, I'm going to change. I'm going to just change the snare here or there. All right, so now it's just mixing. The beat sounds okay, but if you want it to sound really good, you have to work on the mixing. I'm not gonna do too much, but that's just like a tip, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just grab some EQs. I'm just using regular EQs, because I use my the, the um, Fab Field EQs a lot, so I'll change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna just mute the mic and then um, mix it a little bit, and then I'll do the outro and stuff, so give me a second.
right, so that sounds on point for that style, the mixing type of style of um, Smoke Perp or that song in particular. So I'm going to just map it out just quickly, just for an intro video real quick. So I'm just going to pull this down. And he does have like the sound effects and stuff in the beginning, but you know, that's not really needed for this tutorial because that's just up to you and what you want to do. I'm just making a quick kind of intro, just like a maybe take the 808 out, something like that. Let's just see what it sounds like. So keep in mind, you want this type of style or like this, you know, type of style. You want the the snares to be kind of loud but controlled. Just compress them, but not too much where it sounds compressed. But yeah, that's how you make a smoke perp um, type beat. Um, again, I was going over the ski mask. I don't really listen to it, his music that much, so I wouldn't know, you know, his overall sound. But that was the most popular song um, I've seen. Um, so I did that one. Um, that's how you make a smoke perp type beat um let me know what you think in the comments um let me know if this helped you out um request some other stuff because i need to um i still have a lot of videos to do but i still you know want new artists you know look at new artists and everything so comment that below like the video uh, most importantly share it and i'll see you guys next video peace